Hey Scorpio, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I'm coming to you with a general love reading for May, the end of May 2021 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If you're interested in a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop favorite my shop i have my personal readings there my oracle decks tarot decks and my spiritual jewelry okay if this resonates with you guys um do check out your bonus how does your person feel whoever you are thinking about dealing with we're going to see what's on their mind in their heart space what are they not saying how do they really want to move forward and what's happening behind the scenes roblox challenges and the outcome all right also, y'all, I just launched my business course, Scorpio. It is up on Vimeo. So if you ever had a desire in starting your online tarot YouTube business, that course is for you. I break it down on how to get started, how to make many different sources of income, essentially six figures in four months, okay? So um, I've done it. I've shared with you my strategies um, even my real life data analytics, okay, how I got there. So do check it out, Scorpio. It is up on Vimeo, all right? So let's jump right in. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on? Clear messages for Scorpio. Clear messages. One more good shuffle here for Scorpio. Okay. All right. I hope y'all can hear me well. I'm using my mic today. <laughs> All right, let's see what is going on with Scorpio and love, please. What's the current energy surrounding Scorpio and love, please? We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Y'all know what kind of reading this is going to be, right? So we got endings, okay? We got endings. Whatever you guys have gone through in love, Scorpio, okay? Hurt, betrayal, you are letting it go. You're releasing it, okay? This is, this is done, it's over. You're throwing it down on the floor. There are burdens. There's emotional baggage from the past, past relationships, things that didn't work out for you. You're having to drop it. Spirit is nudging you to drop it. Let it go. It's not a part of you anymore. You know, a lot of you guys are holding on to that energy and it's weighing you down. Okay. Um, now let me, let me revise that. It's not that it's not a part of you, but you don't have to live it every day. Okay. So the 10 of wands, is blocks that could be created if you don't drop these burdens from the past, okay? The Ten of Swords, if this was someone that stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, abandoned you, ran off, okay? You are letting it go because this is creating a space in your head, okay? And this is this is literally like mind fuckery. This is like mental entrapment. You guys have to let it go, okay? I see big changes coming in when you let it go. You're dropping a lot. You're dropping a lot of swords here and you're dropping a lot of wands. Let's look at the past energy here. We got the sun, the six of pentacles in reverse and the six of cups in reverse. I'm seeing Scorpio. It could be a Leo that you were connecting with. There is a past situation, a past person that you've gotten clarity on, okay? The sun, there's something here that has been enlightened to you. Maybe you didn't see this person for who they really were, okay? But that sun is enlightenment, it's clarity. Your eyes are wide open. And a lot of you guys, I feel you had very strong feelings for them. There was definitely a soulmate kind of bond connection that you had with this past person. I feel you got yourself caught up in a situation because... um. Well, you probably got stuck because you really did love this person. But when you saw the truth, you realized this person wasn't giving you their everything. They weren't giving you their their full attention, their time, their energy, their efforts, their love, their loyalty. There was one-sidedness here. There was something here that was definitely, definitely very much unreciprocated okay the six of pentacles and verse this could be someone who was dealing with other people they weren't putting you first scorpio and i'm seeing that they've left some bad memories okay but that has made you stronger it's made you who you are and that sun is clarity you you get the information you need you you see the truth and you move towards something that will make you happy okay scorpio so let's see what's on your mind okay Okay, the four pentacles wanted to come out. So I think a lot of you guys, Scorpio, there's something you're holding on to. 
a lot of you guys, you could be in a very guarded energy. Now, what that Four of Pentacles is going to do, it's it's not going to allow new love to come in. So a lot of you guys, you could be challenged to open up your heart again, open up um, your heart chakra heal. You know, I'm seeing that you guys could be... If you're looking for new love, you could be blocking out new love, okay? Because this is the energy of being very closed off. This is not wanting to open up. This is being um, stingy with your energy, okay? You're not opening up. So a lot of you guys are being challenged to open up, to um, date other people, for other people to get to know you. Um, we do got the Hierophant and the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's some kind of commitment that's on your mind, okay? But I feel a lot of you guys, what you need to be focused on is committing to yourself, okay? This Four of Swords right now is about taking some time to yourself, resting, regrouping, recuperating, okay? Really spending a lot of time with, with self because it's needed, especially if you've gone through a lot of um, trauma, tragedies in your life, right? If you want to call it tragedies, but you know, you've gone through some conflict. That Four of Swords is resting, regrouping, recuperating. And that is very much necessary because I feel like your mind is going in many different places. I feel a lot of you guys, you want to perhaps attract someone who is ready for commitment. But really, I don't think a lot of you guys are ready for it. Okay, It's telling me that you guys need to take a break. Okay, and there's something about the number four. It could be four weeks. It could be four months. Something could have happened four days ago. Take your time to rest, Scorpio, okay? Let's see what's going on in the foundation. Let's see what, what you're not seeing, what's going on behind the scenes, what you're unaware of, okay? We have the two of cups in reverse with the two of wands in reverse, okay? We have the ten of pentacles in reverse, the page of swords. So, Scorpio, I do see that there was a lot of indecision with someone, okay? They were very indecisive about you. And the thing is, is that it's not that they didn't care about you. It's not that they didn't love you. We do have the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups would not come out if they didn't think you were the person for them, okay? Unfortunately, just because, you know, there's two good people doesn't mean that they're good people to be with each other, okay? It doesn't mean that, um, you know, you're supposed to marry this person and everything's supposed to be... Um, beautiful and loving. No, sometimes things just don't work out. Now, I feel whoever this is, it's on their mind, okay? You are on their mind, Scorpio. If you guys just recently had a falling out or there's someone that you parted ways from, I see that this is someone who is thinking of you. I feel like they, you know, maybe they had another option, okay? The Two of Wands is definitely someone who was unsure. And I'm getting like they were very much indecided they didn't really know some of you guys you were perhaps ready for commitment or at least that's what you said to this person and they were not right they were very wishy-washy they were unsure they were in their head they kept you stuck perhaps with that two of wands now i do feel this person the current energy um is the page of swords here with the ten of pentacles in reverse okay now there's someone who does want to have a conversation with you i feel like instead of communicating this is someone who may be watching you from a distance they may be checking your social media feeds your twitter your instagram your facebook this is someone who is very curious about you it could be a gemini a libra aquarius we also got earth energy taurus virgo capricorn there's someone who is very curious about you interested inquisitive and they may be digging for some more information especially if you guys are not talking i feel this person maybe you guys are communicating by like text i don't feel like there's real much back and forth communication though i do feel this person had some major hiccups with regard to committing to you um i do feel there was something about readiness they weren't ready or they weren't where they needed to be maybe financially they weren't in a good place um some of you guys they didn't have the job they needed to be they just weren't Aren't ready and I feel a lot of you guys it had nothing to do with you um and that you know again this is someone who's very much still interested they're watching you um but they may not be saying much right now so let's see how does this person feel and how do they maybe want to move forward with you let's see the high priestess the seven of pentacles and the wheel in reverse so this is someone here it could be a pisces scorpio you could be dealing with another water sign for sure it's telling me that they're keeping very much secretive they don't want to know <laughs> they don't want you to, to know everything what's going on they don't want you to know that they're still interested they don't want you to know that they're still lingering and lurking and curious about what you got going on 
The thing is, is that this person saw you as worthy of investing in. They saw growth with you. They saw stability. They saw definitely potential for something here that could have been very fruitful. Um, that Seven of Pentacles is really about taking stock of the past. And there's a lot of reflecting with your person's energy, a lot of thinking. And I feel ultimately this is someone who doesn't want you to know that, well, you're still on their mind and they think heavily about you. And they do think that you are someone that they wish they had kept in their life. However, I do feel with the wheel in reverse, this is someone who, again, time, they weren't ready. Okay. There's something about time. Um, something he was not perhaps working out for them in their life. They perhaps wasn't ready to settle there was something that was not moving in their favor and there's something that created a block from them moving towards you okay because that wheel is coming out in reverse all right i'm also seeing with the wheel in reverse they have this is someone who has not moved on from you scorpio they're still um you guys may not be communicating much but they still have not entirely moved on okay let's see what the outcome looks like for scorpio The world in reverse with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the lovers. So Scorpio, we got Gemini energy here. Something's telling me that a cycle has not entirely closed with someone. With you and this person, a cycle has not closed because we have the world in reverse. There is something that is keeping you stuck. There's something that is um, right now you, you don't feel happy and settled about. You're still emotionally in invested and therefore drained about the situation that did not work out regarding a union that wanted to come together. Um, a lot of you guys, you do feel like this is your soulmate. They got the lover's card here. And there may be um, an opportunity for something to come back. There's something that's not done. There's a, there's a cycle that has not closed properly with this person. And I think both of you guys feel it. And there's still some um, unresolved emotions. There's a lot of feelings here still. And um, unpleasant, I mean, unhappy feelings about the current conditions. And it does look like there's some kind of decision that may be made in the um, coming into the moment. So let's see what we need to know. Let's get some clarity for you guys, Scorpio. If this is your reading, Scorpio, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, your bonus reading is up on Vimeo for May 20th to the 31st, okay? How does your person feel? All right, give me the current energy here, please. For Scorpio, we have the Ten of Swords in verse, the Eight of Swords in verse, and the Ten of Wands. We got the two of wands and the hermit. So there is there is an energy of being at a crossroads right now. You and your person. There's a there's a crossroads here. Not really sure which way to go. Do I go left? Do I go right? But what I'm seeing is that right now, more than ever, you both have to take the time to really think about what you want. If you're on a separation from this person, we do have the hermit, okay? Virgo energy. You both may have to really go within, figure out what is gonna make me happy. What is going to fill my cup up? What is going to fill my needs? A lot of you guys, you are undecided. You're not really sure if this is something here that you still want in your life. You may be questioning if this is a, the path for you, if you should maybe return to a situation here that you have let go, you've tried to walk away from. Some of you guys, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Hermit is really about doing some thinking in uh, introspection, okay, about what you want. Let's look at the past energy. We have the sun, Leo energy. Some of you guys are connecting with the Leo. Six of cups in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse. Three of wands came out in reverse. Someone was waiting, and I feel a lot of you guys, this could have been you. You could have been waiting for a very long time for something to happen. And the ten of wands in reverse, nothing happened. It came to an end. I feel a lot of you guys, you got sick and tired of waiting for things to change with regard to the situation here. And I feel... Something finally came to light that it probably just wasn't for you. I feel a lot of you guys, whoever this person was, you know, this is someone you consider, you know, you have a lot of great interactions in the past with a lot of memories. Um, you did love this person very, very near and dear, but I feel a lot of you guys, you are waiting for this person to give more, okay, to reciprocate, to put you first, to put this relationship first and I feel like it never happened and so a lot of you guys you were faced with a very difficult decision in the past the queen of wands in reverse the pull back 
right? To um, no longer put energy and effort into something here that wasn't good for you. So whatever you found out, whatever came to light, you guys decided to take your power back. Now, on your mind is the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords in reverse and a Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus. We have the Strength in reverse, Leo Energy, and the King of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Scorpio, um, I'm seeing that there's some kind of truth. There was something here where you had, you certainly could have been this King of Swords energy where you said, you know what? I'm going to cut out the BS. The strength in reverse, there's an energy of giving up. Giving up on something here that maybe at one point you saw as something you were sure that would work out for you. You were positive. Okay, I do feel a lot of you guys are holding back now. We got the four pentacles. There's an energy of um, being very guarded, especially... You know, it could be with the Taurus, but I feel a lot of you guys, you may be very guarded because some of you guys, you feel like you were in dealing with someone that you were sure that you would be in this committed partnership. There would be a lot of stability. You would be able to grow and marry this person. But I feel a lot of you guys, um, something didn't work out and it's taking a lot out of you. The strength in reverse, a lot of you guys, you feel weak. You feel unsure of your path in love. Okay, but that King of Swords is telling me that something was truthful. I mean, you had to you had to see the truth. You had to cut out something that just didn't work for you. Um, we also have the judgment in reverse. Okay, there was a decision that you had to make regarding a commitment with someone. Okay, the Hierophant and Hierophant and the judgment in reverse. Some of you guys, you realize this person was not ready to make the final decision and commit to you. All right, let's see what's going on in the foundation. We have the two of wands and the two of cups in reverse. Four of coins in reverse. I feel a lot of you guys, your person would love to hold on to you. They definitely see you as a two of cups, but a lot of you guys, they didn't act like it. They didn't act like they wanted this two of cups. That's the thing. And I feel a lot of you guys, they slept on you. Why is the ten of pentacles the page of swords? Five of Swords. Your person wasn't so much in conflict with you. They were in conflict with themselves. That Five of Swords is just like feeling defeated. It's like they knew that you wanted more, but they couldn't give you more. Right? The Ten of Pentacles in verse. They couldn't give you more. And a lot of you guys, I mean, something just got old. The Page of Swords, you know, this is someone who would say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to marry you one day. And it never happened. I'm going to do this with promises and they just never kept them why is the high priestess here eight of wands yeah i'm seeing that your person wants to communicate very much eight of wands is communication love arrows they want to come towards you there's definitely an energy of wanting to take action towards you scorpio but they're keeping quiet they're very very mysterious they don't want you to know what's really happening and i feel a lot of you guys um why is the wheel in reverse um it's almost like Got the four of swords in reverse. You know, I'm feeling like your person. See, the thing is, is that they're not done yet. They have not really moved on from you. Um, there's a lot of um, worries, okay? And I'm getting, definitely they're thinking about you. Seven of pentacles here. I just feel like your person wasn't really ready for um, what you were offering at the time, okay? There was some conflict. There was, um, your person wasn't ready. Now, why is the world in reverse? Um, we got the wheel coming out in reverse and the world coming out in reverse. Yeah. The lovers. There's a decision that you guys have. There's a decision here. You both will be making coming into the moment. The lovers came out twice. I don't know what to say. There's something that is going to be revisited. And you guys are going to have to make a decision about it. King of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups. Some of you guys, your person may have to make a decision about another third party. Um, another situation. But I do feel a lot of you guys... They may be wanting to come back in your life, but they may not be ready to, for a full-blown commitment. The King of Pentacles came out in the verse. This is someone who is not typically really faithful. They're not really ready to give you the stability that you're looking for. Um, you know, they may not be ready for that move, but they do want a reunion or some kind of uh, coming together with the Three of Cups energy. So there's a decision if you guys want to even entertain that, all right? So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I'm going to get some... Um, I'm going to get a few cards from the Axe of the Universe, okay? You've seen this deck before. It's on my Etsy shop. Um, ask two questions and we'll get some um, clarity, okay? We'll get your answers. All right, Scorpio, what's your first question you want to ask the universe? Highly favored. Highly favored, okay? 
What is your second question? You want to ask the universe. Still unclear. So we have highly favored and still unclear. All right, Scorpio, you guys have a great remainder of your day. You guys take care.